Hoodlies, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's to all of you guys. I hope you guys kick-started the new year with maximum potential and excitement. Anyways, of course you guys didn't think that I would forget to upload the tarot predictions for January. So we're going to begin here with Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what you can expect for this month of January. I will also be working on a video for all 12 months, so you guys stay tuned for that. Let's see what you guys can expect. What is unfolding for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of January? Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow me to see here, sense beyond, receive the messages loud and clearly. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of January 2024. I almost said 2023. <laughs> It's going to take a while, you guys. How was you guys' holidays? I hope you guys had an awesome time. And for those of you guys that celebrate, perhaps not surrounded with many friends or family members, I hope that you went out of your way to make yourself comfortable and make yourself feel special. All right, Aries, let's see what you can expect for the month of January. We're starting off here with the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. So you're starting off the year feeling a little boggled down for some of you guys. This could be a bit of anxiousness, a bit of worry, concern perhaps about work or your finances. However, as the month progresses, you're going to start to see more opportunities flow into your life. And this can come through people or those around you that may help you or that may come around um, asking for some type of assistance that may actually be a financial gain to you. Um, for others of you, I see you guys starting the year a bit um, overwhelmed, as we all do, right? The holidays are always uh, a bit emotionally draining. However, like I said, throughout the month, you're going to start to see you're becoming more focused, Aries. You're becoming more focused and you're becoming more about your bag. Um, and definitely 2024 is definitely a year that is going to bring a lot of opportunities for you, Aries, out there. So again, you'll start to see this unfold throughout the month. Um, at the very end of the month, you have here the Page of Cups, which is a surprise invitation or a surprise opportunity that comes to you. Um, that is unexpected for some of you guys. This could be an unexpected race for others of you it could be an unexpected um, higher position that may land literally on your lap. Um, I would highly encourage you guys to step out of your comfort zone and jump into anything that has to do with newness, uh, anything that is going to challenge you because the year for you 2024 is going to be very important for you to challenge yourself so that you can be able to experience major growth, okay? That's going to be something very important for you guys. All right, moving on. Let's see what we can expect here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of January 2024. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Taurus. All right, we have the Four of Wands here. We have the Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. Okay, so there is major potential and major growth here that's happening. Uh, keep in mind, Taurus, we do have Jupiter in your sign right now. So again, there's a lot of opportunities to expand. There's a lot of opportunities for some of you guys even to... Um, maybe you've been thinking about maybe the end of 2023, you guys were thinking about moving or making some type of major change in your life. And I see that unfolding. I feel like January, even going into February, you're kind of tying loose ends and figuring out or making a decision at that point. But there is um, a lot of stability that's coming through for you guys. Now, the Eight of Swords does indicate to me that you've been on the fence about something, perhaps having to do with business or finances, where you felt stuck or you felt unseen. That's no longer going to be the case. As I see that as the month progresses, you start to become much more confident. You start to start to walk more in your purpose. And also you start to become a little bit more demanding, which is not necessarily a bad thing because I feel like in the past, 
um, perhaps you were a bit more passive, whereas moving forward in the year, I see you guys more determined, more focused, like I said, and more assertive in the things that you do. So major, major growth there for you, Taurus. All right, let's see what's going on here with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are interested in any of our books or any of our journals, my shadow journal is out already available. You guys can find all of those links on the description box below. If you guys are interested in any personal readings or any spell work, uh, you will find our online store there as well. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, another sign that's going to experience a lot of changes for 2024. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Gemini. We have the Knight of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. You guys are definitely leading in, like really leaning in towards determination is what I'm hearing for you guys. So there could have been, uh, potentially, you could have felt like the end of the year, you were a little bit more reserved, perhaps for some of you guys. You guys were extremely seeking truths, right? Or going within, trying to figure out the purpose, trying to figure out your purpose, trying to figure out how do I go about feeling comfortable in my own skin and embracing that. And going into the new year with the Knight of Wands, I see you guys much more intense and passionate about what you're doing. For some of you guys, you are revolutionizing really um, how people perceive you or how you even perceive yourself. There's something that's changing here, Gemini, where you're becoming much more uh, authentic to yourself. And with the six of pent, sorry, with the six of cups here, it's indicating to me being surrounded by the right people or those people that are really helping you propel you to the next level. You guys are definitely more in tune to what it is that you're wanting and you're definitely taking action towards that. Um, I see you guys very motivated. For some of you guys, you're changing some type of regimen. For some of you guys, you're going on a diet, taking care of yourselves. You are definitely going into the new year determined to turn certain situations around. Now, at the very end of the month, Queen of Cups here indicating really tapping into your emotions or figuring out certain aspects about ourselves um, that have become a habit that hold us back and you're releasing that. It is water energy. So for some of you guys that were dealing with any type of form of escapism, uh, whether it was drinking, whether it was drugs or whatever, anything of that nature, um, you're going within. And I feel like this empowering energy is really helping you guys heal a lot um, and in this process, what you're doing is you're becoming much more empowered and you're becoming much more clear about the things that you want in your life and you're going out and making it happen. So good for you, Gemini. All right, let's see what's going on for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of January, 2024. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, here we go, Cancer. We have the Five of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Justice card. So a lot of trials and a lot of turbulations, uh, Cancer. Uh, we definitely went a little bit deeper into your astrological alignments that are going to be happening this year uh, for you guys. And you guys are coming out of an energy of constant strife and struggle, Um but the positive in that was to propel you towards where you're going now. And in the beginning of the year, you can feel even a bit depleted of your energy. For some of you guys, you're feeling maybe in certain situations or dealing with people, you may feel even defeated. But the positive in this is that you don't see what's coming around the corner, Cancer. What they're telling you is you're coming out of this strife energy. You're coming out of this difficulty, right? This resistance that you had been dealing with. 2023. And with the justice card here, you're going to start to see or hear certain revelations about certain people or about certain circumstances and situations that are going to make you feel very good that you're no longer dealing with those people or with, with those situations. The justice card always symbolizes making decisions without emotion. So there's no connection to emotion here. You're making decisions based on what your head is telling you is the right thing for you. And again, sometimes making decisions that are not necessarily emotionally based, 
for others around us or those that you're dealing with may feel like you're becoming more cutthroat. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, whereas in the past they could have because of your love or because you cared for them, they could have walked all over you or they could have taken you for granted or they could have, you know, didn't realize that everything you did was because it came out of the kindness of your heart, not because you had to. So the moment you remove that type of energy and now you're asserting yourself and making decisions that are based on what's right for you and for your growth, it's going to ruffle a few feathers, but that's okay, Cancer. You got to keep it pushing. Because this year, it's about bringing balance into your life. And it is about executing and making decisions that are what's best for you, not for the collective or not for those around you. Okay? Very important. All right. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of January 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Leos. A lot of changes for you guys as well this year. All right, here we go, Leo. We have the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. You guys are going to start to experience a lot of momentum in regards to things that you've either aligned yourself to or things that you're trying to manifest into your life. With the Seven of Wands, there was a lesson uh, in 2023 for a lot of you guys to um, pretty much assert yourself in what it is that you want and to not settle for anything less. And I feel like you guys start to experience or you guys start to fall into the energy of the manifestation of this. So there's going to be a point in January where you're going to be able to look back probably the past two months, uh, December and November of 2023. And you'll start to notice that your your mind began to shift around that time and you started to become more uh more savage is what's coming to mind more savage in regards to protecting your space protecting your happiness or protect protecting your health uh your mind uh the health of your mind and even if it meant cutting out certain toxic people and I feel like in January, you start to see the momentum start to pick up for you in regards to what seemed a bit chaotic in your life, whether it was relationships, whether it was your professional life, whether it was business or money. Um, it kind of seemed like you were being pulled towards different directions. And I feel January, you start to feel more in control of your life. You start to feel like things are falling into place and you feel more motivated this year and going into 2024, you are definitely executing, uh, going towards or reaching those goals that you've set out to make. You're making them happen this year, uh, Leo. So again, it was the lesson here was to learn to stand on your, on your own two feet. What I mean by that is creating boundaries and not allowing people to push those boundaries. I feel you guys, some of you guys may still be dealing with that, but as the month progresses, you become much more empowered in that energy and you're no longer feeling bad. Uh, whereas, you know, you, you're kind of doing this out of survival mode, but you still felt perhaps like, oh, maybe I'm asking too much. Maybe I'm raising the bar too much. There was a bit of guilt there. And I feel like as the month pro uh, progresses, you start to feel more empowered and you're unapologetic about it. Cancer. I mean, Leo, sorry. Cancer. Some of you guys may be dealing with cancers, Leo. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Virgo here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Another sign that's going to be experiencing major transformations this year. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what you can expect for this month of January 2024. All right, here we go. You have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Hermit card. So, there is this energy around you, Virgo, where you're going to feel this month that you're becoming much more clear minded about your goals. I see you guys writing down things. I see you guys like uh, literally writing down uh, 
I'm in point A and I'm trying to get to point B and this is how I'm going to make it do it. So when they show me list, it usually indicates like setting the bar higher for your goals and aspirations, what you're trying to achieve. And I see you guys more focused and you're taking more of the earthly bound. Again, executing whether it's through, you know, through writing it down, whether it's through uh, really putting effort and making those things happen. With the King of Wands here, there's this energy around you that you're going to be much more empowered because people are being more naturally drawn to you this year. And you're feeling really very powerful, I should say, here. With the King of Wands and the Hermit, you're being guided towards your manifestations. You're being guided towards your goals and you will be achieving them. Now, one of the things that I do want to mention here with the Hermit, try the best you can, Virgo, not to get distracted, okay? So you could have started off the year motivated, extremely focused, as the months progress, it's going to be very important for you to keep that focus and that determination. So try the best to not allow the noise or those around you to distract you or to bring in their drama and things that may kind of blur the lines of where you're trying to go. It's going to be important to keep your eye on the prize, Virgo. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of January 2024. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now, Libra, another sign that's going to be experiencing major changes here. We have the South Node in your sign, Libra, and the North Node in Aries. So, Again, major transformations that are happening there and the eclipses of 2024 will be happening in your sign. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So there is a lot of happiness that you're going to be experiencing, Libra. I feel like there is unresolved issues that you went into the new year with. I feel that at the end of the month or beginning of February, they start to resolve themselves or things start to fall into place. Now, I see you guys more determined and more focused. You guys are standing your ground. You're becoming very confident and assertive, something that... Um, Libras have a tendency of having to work through their life, right? Assertiveness. And I see you guys becoming much more assertive. I see you guys becoming much more grounded in your approach of how you want to be seen and how you want to be respected or how you want people to take you. Um, whereas in the past, perhaps you felt like people didn't necessarily take you seriously, in some aspects, for some of you guys, this could be connected to finances, to your career. To others of you, it could be in relationships, whereas you felt like every time you spoke or every time you said something, the partner kind of just, you know, sweeps it under the rug or doesn't necessarily acknowledge that. And I see you guys going majorly leaning towards that energy of this is what I want and you didn't hear me and I'm going to repeat it in a much more clear and efficient way that gets through your thick as skull type of energy. So again, I feel like you guys are becoming much more unapologetic and you guys are becoming more assertive. You're going to start to experience all of these energies. Again, like I said, uh, the end or throughout this month going into February, uh, you're starting to feel, I should say, you're starting to feel more of yourself. You're feeling yourself and you are determined and your focus determined is one of the things that is coming through very strongly especially because we have two queens here so this could indicate that you are embracing that of the earthly bound with the fire that's within you to bring more balance and more harmony into your life libra all right moving on here let's see what's going on with scorpio sun moon rising venus scorpio sun moon rising venus if you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. I will keep them coming for you. And like I say, you guys stay tuned for uh, the reading that I'm going to be doing, the tarot reading that I'm going to do for the 2024 predictions for all the signs 
for all the months, okay? All right, let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Another, another sign that's going to be experiencing a lot of changes. All right, here we go, Scorpio. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to start to notice around this month, Scorpio, that your luck starts to change. Your luck is already evolving, whereas in the past you were dealing with a bit of resistance or a bit of obstacles, right, that had to been figured out. And I feel like going into the new year, your luck is starting to change. So if you feel inclined or if you feel pulled towards, as an example, taking chances or even, you know, buying yourself a ticket, uh, a lotto ticket or anything that has to do with gamble, I would highly encourage you guys to go for it if you feel like your intuition is calling you towards that. Why? Because it's almost like your GPS is going to be your intuition this year, Scorpio. And you're going to notice that the more you make decisions based on your intuition, the more you're going to hit it on the money. So again, very beautiful energy, transformational energy that's happening here. Now, I do want to warn you, Scorpio, Seven of Swords does indicate to me um, people around you or people that are going to want to be around you because they're starting to see things go very well for you. And for some of you guys, this could even be connected to relatives um, that may come around only because they're expecting or wanting more from you. It's going to be very crucial and very important to put those people in their places. And what I mean by that is you've gone long enough putting other people before you, Scorpio. And I feel like this year it's going to be very important to keep your balance. And you're going to notice that the only way to do that is to not allow people to pull from your energy. And this is including people that have a tendency of coming around you only when they need you or coming around you because they need something from you. But when you're going through it, no one's calling your phone. No one's reaching out. You have to be very perceptive of that and pay a lot of attention to that throughout the year, Scorpio, because it's going to be very important for you to really see those that are really applauding for you and those that are low-key trying to applaud just so that you can see them applaud you. I hope that makes sense. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of January 2024. If you guys are interested in the 2024 astrological predictions, that video is up. You guys can <clears throat> find that on my channel. It is more assertive, more concise, and it will pinpoint very important aspects that you're going to be or that your rising sign is going to be dealing with for the month of 2024, not the month, the year, sorry, 2024. All right, Sagis, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you guys for this month of January, 2024. All right, here we go, Sagittarius. We have the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Wands. You've gone through it, Sagittarius. There's been a lot of difficulties that you've been experiencing a lot of traumas that you've been dealing with that stem from early childhood. And though it was difficult and it may still feel like you're still kind of, you know, weathering the storm, um, with the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups, there is almost this energy of in order to, in order to heal, we have to go back to that which caused us a lot of pain or a lot of trauma. And not necessarily to, obviously no one wants to go through the hurt all over again, but reliving that is going to give you a different perspective of, of how you feel about it now because you haven't wanted to deal with that. So I'm going to be very straightforward, Sagittarius. If you're dealing with anything that has to do with escapism because of the pain or the trauma that you have gone through, this is whether it's through alcoholism, drugs, anything that is a form of escapism. The only way to heal that aspect of you, to be able to align yourself and continue to move forward and to continue to move forward in a positive way that is going to, that is going to bring to you a lot of growth and success is to have the, it's to have to go back to the past 
to heal that side of you or that aspect of you so that you can then move forward. And moving forward, you'll be able to notice that if you do the work, and we're talking about shadow work here is what they're speaking to me about with the six of cups and the five of cups. Going through or being able to do that shadow work or that those shadow, um, you know, energies of having to visit certain aspects about ourselves that we feel ashamed or that we feel that, you know, the world told us that we can be that type of way, whatever this may be to you, whatever it may resonate to you, okay? It's going to be important in 2024 for you to actually put in the work to do shadow work because as you start to heal, you start to move and you start, I don't want to say move in steps, you're leaping forward towards your future with major momentum and putting in the work is what's going to bring to you a lot of success. We have the six of wands here. So there is major success in your near future, but you have to release right? You have to release or you have to heal certain aspects about yourself that have a lot to do with worthiness or that has a lot to do with feeling that you're not worthy. I know that's a big, it's a big thing, right? <laughs> but it is definitely telling you that this is the year where you heal and where you bring balance to your life, Sagittarius. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on for you guys for the month of January 2024. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Another sign with major changes happening. All right, here we go. Cappies. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Justice card. You've been going through this cycle of trying to stabilize a certain aspect of your life. For some of you guys, it's going to be very different, okay? For some, it could be career-wise and finances. For others of you, it could be, you know, your romantic sector. For others of you, it could be dealing with a lot of family. And with the Seven of Swords, this is an indication that you're coming to the conclusion or the understanding that maybe you've been kind of deceiving or lying to yourself in that aspect that you've been trying to work out or figure out. So think of it as, as an example, if it has to do with relationships and you have been going through this cycle of trying to figure out why it doesn't work out or why you're constantly like things are going good and then they stop and then, you know, it's kind of like a stop and go type of thing. If you're trying to figure all of this out, I feel like in the month of January, you guys are coming to the real, uh, realization, but what I'm hearing is self-actualization. So what this means is that you've been going about life for a very long time. You've been going about life for a very long time, uh, looking around or perhaps even being upset at people, but the one you really are upset at is yourself. Because you've allowed these people to either take advantage of you, walk all over you, uh, continuously keep needing you without putting any boundaries. It's like self-actualization. What that actually means is us looking at ourselves in the mirror and realizing, you know what, when it comes to relationships, I have a lot to do with it too. Why? Because I'm the one that chooses to be with those people. What is it about me? that is very attracted to these type of people. And obviously these type of people are not necessarily good for me because obviously they haven't worked out. So I see you guys taking ownership about your life and about the decisions you've made. And this is going to be massive for you Capricorns. Why? Because the justice card indicates that things start to fall into place or they become balanced in your life the moment you start to take responsibility right? You start to take responsibility and you start to create, even if it means having to make boundaries, having to say no, or maybe you have a tendency of saying yes when you really want to say no. And then you get upset at people that keep asking you for that, for that. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? You're realizing and you're taking self-responsibility and you're like, no more, no more. 
If someone asks me something and I really want to say no, then it's a fucking no. It's not a yes anymore. You're not becoming a doormat to no one. And I, I feel this very empowering energy here because it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of power. And, and I should mention, you cannot imagine the type of power that you're taking back by creating boundaries, by saying no when you mean no, or by saying yes when you mean yes. It's going to really bring a lot of balance into your life, Capricorn, but not only that. It's going to bring in the people that are right for you, the people that are meant for you, the people that are good for you. All right. All right, my lovelies. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on here with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of January 2024? Aquarius. All right, here we go. Aquarius, you have the Nine of Wands, the Emperor card, and the Four of Cups. All right, so I see you guys going into this new year um, a bit tired, a bit exhausted for some of you guys. It's like you've been putting a lot of work and a lot of energy towards something. For some of you guys, this could be your business. This could be your career. This could be relationships for some although I feel like it has more to do with the finances and business arena. If you've been putting a lot of effort and a lot of energy and you feel exhausted, I first of all, I want to tell you, take care of yourself, Aquarius. Make sure you're getting rest. Make sure that you are not pushing yourself to be burnt out, okay, before anything. But if you've been really focused hard towards achieving a goal or making something happen, the middle of the month or beginning, or I should say the the middle of this month, January, going into February, you're going to start to see the results of your hard labor. You're going to start to see money come in. You're going to start to see that you are becoming much more structured in your finances and you're going to become, there is this, this, this empowering energy, right, with the Emperor card, it's all about power, authority. So you guys are definitely stepping up. Now, like I said, it's going to be very crucial and very important for you guys um, to make sure, yes, to take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. Yes, to be making money where money is to be made, but also making yourself a priority. Try the best you can to, you know, integrate something that helps you disconnect from the world, um, something that helps you recharge your batteries, recharge your energy, recharge your soul. And I would go as far as telling you, take it back to what you really love or enjoy doing in some type of hobby, because it's going to be important. I feel like this hobby outlet is really going to help you guys balance out the craziness and hectic hecticness that's going to be happening for you guys in 2024. There's a lot of momentum, a lot of things that are going to be moving forward, but it's going to be important for you to integrate and to balance, right? To, to bring the balance into your life. It's going to be important for you guys to integrate you guys disconnecting or recharging your batteries. Okay. So find an outlet or something that you really enjoy doing that you can do when it's your day off that is going to recharge your soul. Okay. All right, my lovelies. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of January 2024. If you guys like these readings, like, share, and comment, let me know so I can keep them coming for you guys. Let's see what's going on here with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, here we go, Pisces. We have the Emperor card, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of, sorry, the Six of Pentacles. <coughs> wow. So you guys have the first two cards that came out for Aquarius. Some of you guys may be dealing with an Aquarian. Um, I see you guys focused and determined on your goals and making those goals happen. Now, one of the things that's going to be very important for you, Pisces, um, not only in January, but I feel like throughout the year, it's going to be very important for you guys to try the best you can 
to keep, you know, the partying or the going out or for some of you guys, if you're like, oh no, I don't like to go out and I'm a little bit, a bit antisocial lately. Well, maybe you have a tendency of like drinking one or too many wine glasses. Um, what they're telling you here is that it's going to be very important to keep certain things that you have a tendency of using as a form of escapism, um, to keep that in check or to keep that in balance so that you can be able to see yourself achieving the goals and aspirations that you're going towards. And I do see that happening. One of the things that's going to be very important for you, Pisces, especially because you have Saturn in your sign is to really put effort towards what you're wanting to accomplish. And you will see, you will see results from that. You will see rewards from that. But it's going to be very important to become disciplined this year, Pisces. And I say this year because, again, Saturn is in your sign. So try the best you can if you if I'm talking to you, Pisces, and you do have a tendency of using some form of escapism or you've been dealing with that to kind of suppress certain emotions or perhaps the reality of what life is for you guys at that point, it's going to be very important to keep that in check. Try the best you can to find other outlets to release tension or to release frustration. And I would highly encourage you guys like exercising or anything that really gets your body moving dancing, anything like that, that is going to help you shake that, um, shake that, I don't want to say aggression, but almost frustration, you know, uh, it's going to be very important for you guys. Why? Because if you do have a tendency or you have been going through this cycle of feeling like you maybe have been drinking a little too much or anything like that, you're going to start to notice that every time you try to use something as a form of escapism, it kind of blows up in your face. So you're either arguing, fighting with people that not necessarily really did anything to you. It's just that maybe you have one too many wine bottles, whatever it is, whatever the situation is, Saturn is there in your sign. And what it's telling you is that if you put in the work and you put in the energy towards what you're trying to accomplish, Saturn will reward you. It will give you that push. It will give you that elevation. It will give you um, the success that you're seeking. But you're going to have to be extremely disciplined, uh, not only in January, but throughout the year. Uh, it's kind of like a give and take when it comes to Saturn. If you put in the effort, you will see rewards. You will see your wishes or your goals, you know, succeeding and manifesting for you. But you have to put work and you have to be disciplined. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did, like, share, and comment. I will upload you guys another video. Like I said, uh, we're going to go into all the months for all the signs. You guys stay tuned for that. We have more spell work coming through for you guys for this new year. I want to wish you guys all the very best. Like I mentioned, if you guys are interested in any of our journals or books, you can find all of that on the description link below. I will see you guys, and until then, bye.